What's going on everybody? Cack and Balls here again with another kind of big box unboxing. Uh, this is a um, large flat rate priority box. So we got you know 12 inch by 12 inch by 6 inch, give or take. So there's a couple items in here. Uh, we're going to open it up and see what's inside. As you probably have figured out by now, this is under the um, old school Fosgate um, section of my channel. I've got two. I've got one for the uh, Mustang I've been working on and then the Rockford Fosgate one. So I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to try to separate everything out. We'll kind of go through things individually. So first thing I'm going to pull out. Now I did buy this from the same seller that I had bought uh, another item from in a previous video. It was a 200X2 amplifier. So we've got this here. We're going to start with the small one. We're going to work our way up. So we're going to start here. It feels like there's something in these paper towels. I hope so. If not, once again, paper towels do not make good packing material. So we'll keep unraveling, keep unraveling. Hopefully there's not a piece of poop in here. Yeah, it felt like there might have been something in here. There isn't. So fail again on the paper towels, I guess. I don't... Come on. I don't, I don't understand this. So these are going to get thrown away. I'll throw those over there. So we'll move on to the big one. So big package right here. And let's see how we're going to go about opening this. <clears throat> this isn't packed too bad. This actually has a lot of bubble wrap on here. So I'm running out of bubble wrap. That's nice. Anybody want a pube? I got a hair right there. So I'm going to try to save some of this bubble wrap. So this is the boring part for all you guys, I know. Uh, if I was good at editing videos, then I would skip through all this and make it fast forward and do everything real quick. And But you know what? I'm not. I'm not talented enough to figure out some of that <laughs> editing software and I'm not going to do it. I've done some videos like that. Here's another hair. What do you think that is? Girl hair? I don't know. Interesting, this stuff you find. All right. So little pieces of tape everywhere. Let's start unwrapping. What do you say? So there's more tape. Holy cow. There we go. And we'll just keep moving it to the side. And piece of bubble wrap number one. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not mean to do that to you guys. But sometimes you just gotta cough. Okay, so bubble wrap. Put this over here, save that for later. Now we got more bubble wrap. Once again, I wish I could make this sped up for you guys. Because I know how boring it is waiting to see this stuff. I'm already in at three minutes and we haven't even seen anything yet. But we're getting there. I can start I'm starting to see some things. I think one more. Oh, about to do it. Okay, so we finally have contact with a very dirty, dirty, dirty amplifier. All right, we're gonna move all this bubble wrap out of the way. All right, so what we have here is obviously a very dirty amp, but on the bottom it's clean. So we have a 240X4, which is going to be a four channel amp, and we have a link. So the link is attached to it. I'll need to take that off. It's missing the two screws down here, but the seals are intact, which is always nice to see that. Intact seal up here, intact seal. Rockford Files Gate Punch 240X4, 
30 watts by 4 at 4 ohms, 60 watts by 4 at 2 ohms. Everybody knows these amplifiers will do way more than what it's rated at and in the link. So this one is going to need some love and attention. As you can see, very dirty. I'm not sure, but I think that the, the guy that I bought it from said it was like concrete dust or something in here. I don't know. The other one I had, it was a pain in the butt to clean up. I can tell you that. So these, they're, it's almost easier to literally take the thing apart. And I don't really want to just for the fact that it's still sealed. But it, it would be so much easier just to take it apart and soak the heat sink in like a bucket of you know, soapy water. This here, I'm going to pop this open. I'll worry about the tape and stuff later. So here we have Rapper Files Gate DSM Power Block. Once again, it's got the same dusty filthiness on it. Um, the cover he's supposed to have, he should be sending me the cover uh, whenever he finds it. Not that big of a deal if he doesn't. Um, they have a tendency to break anyways, so I'll probably take this one apart and clean it off. Take the screws out of it, clean it up. So we got a DSM distribution block. And we have two pieces of Fosgate cable, which is 4 gauge. And this is going to be the power. You can, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to bring this up here. Not that you, I don't know if you guys are even interested in this or not. Um, it does not want to focus. All right, there we go. So 4 gauge punch power cable. Then down on the very end, we have the Rafter Fosgate lug, which this should have the sticker on it, but it doesn't, so it looks like it may have fallen off. Not that big of a deal. And then, obviously, we've got the ground, which is going to have the same, same style lug on it. So, but this is box number one of... Uh, two boxes. Let me make this clear for you guys and zoom back in here. So box number one, we got box number two coming up shortly and I'll get that video uploaded here. Uh, well, I got to record it first, but we'll get it uploaded. So we've got a block, we've got a link, a 240X4, some four gauge files gate wire. We also have the two um, terminal ends on here as well. So sorry about the long video. I know most of this is just me rambling on while I'm unpacking everything. Um, but you know, give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm always open to chit chatting about the stuff that I buy. So feel free to drop me a comment down below and you guys and gals have a good day.